Hey everyone, Summer here with Astaria Sen and you know, it's the week before Thanksgiving, well, not the week before Thanksgiving, but you know, a couple days, yeah, a couple days, couple, yeah, a couple days before Thanksgiving, so when you guys see this, because it'll be Wednesday when you guys see this, but I thought what a great way to uh, really like dive into something and get into that gratitude feel. I mean, I'm going to be out of town for a few days, so you might not see any uploads from me for Thanksgiving. And I hope you guys have a very, very great feast because I will. <laughs> but um, I wanted to do something where I picked out some tarot cards. I picked out three actually. Well, actually not three. I picked out one from um, each suit and then one from the major arcana and it was about gratitude now I'm not talking about the meanings of the cards or anything like that I literally picked out my favorite deck and then I picked cards from it that spoke gratitude to me And now I'm going to tell you what they are because I thought that it would be a Fun and uplifting way to bring my tarot into my gratitude for the holiday <laughs> All right, so I am not really considering the meanings of these at all just so you know so just be prepared for that I'm taking it based off what I know without looking up the meanings and um what I feel in my heart and what the picture is saying to me that's why I chose my favorite deck is because I wanted it to be something I was familiar with and something that I really enjoyed the art with so that's why I did that the ones that I, the oh my gosh I could talk today I swear <laughs> okay the major arcana I chose was the hermit and I chose this card for gratitude uh with myself because I see myself that way I look internally and she's not unhappy or anything like that she's just looking out over the edge of all these possibilities before her the light is shining out and she's just really pleasantly sitting there embracing um herself pretty much that's what I see and so there's a lot of gratitude in this card that I see for self gratitude. Um, and I'm proud of myself. I'm very, very proud of how much I have accomplished in my art and how much I've accomplished in coming forward in my courage and how much I've accomplished in being able to be a little bit more comfortable with who I am. And I'm still working at it and everything else, but this card says gratitude to myself. And that's why I love it. That's why I chose it. <laughs> All right. And then I chose, uh, from the cups, I chose 10 of cups because I have so much gratitude for my family. And when I see this card, like they're holding each other and they're really embracing that moment with each other. And that's what I love. That's why I think that this is perfect for gratitude in cups because this card is telling me how grateful I am and helping me see how, how amazing my family really is. Uh, we fight and things happen, but they are the most supportive aspect in my life other than myself supporting me. So. <laughs> Everybody is really, really supportive. My friends aren't always supportive, but my family, my close family, the people who live in this house with me are extremely supportive of who I am, who I'm becoming and what I want to do. And they love me for it regardless. And I am so grateful that I have that in my life. All right. The next one is the um, page of wands. That's what I chose is the page of wands. And when you look at her, she's sitting there. She's got time on her hands. She's curled up with her little dragon and she's experiencing like a pastime and there's candles in front of her. She's just really enjoying this, this moment to be uh, creative, this, this moment to spend time with her little pet and uh, her music pretty much. Okay. Well, mine's not necessarily music. Mine's art. But that, you know, that goes with it, that idea that I can sit and craft and do those things. And I am grateful for my ability to craft. I'm so grateful for that. That's what keeps me afloat right now. <laughs> my clay work. Um, and then um, the next one is uh, the Queen of Swords. That's the one I chose from Swords. And she has been through so much, this Queen of Swords, like you can tell, and you can see all the butterflies, so butterflies and the transformation that comes from butterflies. So this queen has been through a ton, a ton, a ton. Look at all those butterflies. She's been through a lot. She's still holding her sword. She's not necessarily at the ready. It's more of a, I have this sword. I know how to use it. Not a prepare to die kind of situation. But because I chose this for gratitude because I'm grateful for my hardships. 
this tells me I can be grateful for my hardships. I'm going to come out the other side and I'm going to come out a changed person because of them and have because of them. So I am grateful for the hardships that I have faced and I will be grateful for the hardships that are to come because they will come. And then the last card is from Pentacles and I chose the Six of Pentacles. And this card in general as a whole said great gratitude to me. Look at all of the all of the fruit, the pinnacles, everything around her that is just blossoming and blooming and just out there for her to touch and to reach and to just put in her basket and all of that stuff, right? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So this is my ultimate gratitude card from this deck is uh, the Six of Pentacles because it shows how you can have so much and if you are actually experiencing it and if you are paying attention to it, you can have a full basket and you can have all of these things blooming around you and I am grateful to have that in my life. I have good people in my life and I have a good home. I have a good, um, my spirituality, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to think of is my spiritual work has been very fruitful, very productive for me. My um, business is productive and my animals are amazing. I have a really amazing life and I am truly, truly grateful. And I am grateful even for my YouTube channel and the people who watch me because without that, I don't know what I would do. Like I need my, <laughs> my begging community. I really do need that. And I'm grateful that I have you guys to talk with tarot about or <laughs> to do VRs to or to talk fairies or to go over book reviews or to watch somebody go about their day or just anything like that because that makes my life interesting in moments that it may not be okay so thank you guys for being there for me I really do appreciate you and I hope you have a very great Thanksgiving